This is New Amsterdam Vape, and in this video, I'd like to discuss the mutation X RDA by indulgence. I'll be comparing the similarities and differences between the version 2 and the version 3. At a quick glance, the two RDAs appear to be very similar, but there are many major and minor differences between the two. Both versions share the same dimensions, having a width of 22 millimeters. The height is 28 millimeters from the bottom of the deck, and 32 millimeters from the bottom thread of the 510 adapter. Out of the box, the version 2 comes with the atomizer deck, the wall section, the top cap, and a wide Dalrin drip tip. There's also spare o-rings for the deck and top cap, as well as spare screws. This version comes with a special triangular Allen key for the screws, which I'll talk about in just a moment. The version 3 comes with the same atomizer setup, but includes a few additions. There's a new Delrin 510 drip tip adapter, which allows any 510 drip tip to be used with this setup. They also replace the triangular Allen screws with Phillips screws, and it includes a Phillips screwdriver. The version 3 comes with the same O-rings for the deck, as well as an O-ring for the top cap. The version 2 requires the special Allen key to remove the screws, but this caused many issues. Since the tool is the only way to remove the screws, it renders the atomizer useless if it's lost or broken. The screws also stripped very easily. Within the first week of owning the version 2, I had already stripped most of the screws on the deck, and I also bent the tip of the triangular tool quite a bit. I made the effort to use extra care when replacing coils with the version 2, but this is one of the more frustrating aspects of owning the version 2. The version 3 replaced the triangular screws with regular Phillips screws, which is a big improvement. I have multiple Phillips screwdrivers around, so having a tool to remove the screws is no issue. The version 3 does include a tiny blue screwdriver, but it's a little too small for my hands, and I prefer to use my own tool set. Aside from the screws, there are some other differences and similarities with the decks. The post holes on both versions are 2mm in diameter, which are nice for building with large gauge wire, twisted wire, clapton wire, and so on. The post holes on the positive post are further apart on the version 3 than the version 2. This is a nice change because it helps pull the center of the coils more from the walls of the deck and to the center of the deck. The center post on the version 2 is wider, measuring at 5mm. The version 3 has a center post that's 4mm. This slimmer post allows more room so the coils can be pulled back further from the walls and allows more wicking material to fit. The negative posts on both versions measure the same at a little less than 4mm. Looking at the middle section of the Mutation X, you can see the air holes are similarly designed on the version 2 and the version 3. There's 18 air holes in total, 9 on each side, each air hole measuring at about 2mm in diameter. This allows for a lot of air in your vape hit. One difference I noticed is the spacing of the air holes. The air holes on the version 2 are much closer together, while the version 3 has almost a millimeter of space between each hole. My assumption is that this was a choice made by the manufacturer, so there's less mistakes made in the drilling process. Having the air holes so close together could break the metal between the holes, making it a dud. I haven't noticed a difference between the airflow and the two versions when they're wide open. Both middle sections feature the Indulgence logo, as well as the Mutation X logo. The lighting makes them look a little bit different, but on close examination, the machine work on the engraving is about the same. Looking at the top caps of each version, you can see that the version 2 has a curved top that flattens out at the drip tip, while the version 3 is flat all the way across. Both versions feature heat sink style fins that are used to disperse heat. They're spaced the same on both versions, though the fins on version 3 felt smoother and rounder to the touch. The holes for the drip tips are the same diameter at 11.5 millimeters. This is wider than a standard 510 drip tip, which gives the Mutation X an added airy draw. You can see on the version 2 where the metal flattens out at the drip tip hole, then rounds off, while the version 3 is just rounded off. Looking at that machine work, the version 3 feels smoother around the edge. If you look inside the drip tip hole, you can see the version 2 has a lot of scratch marks from the machining process, while the version 3 is sanded down. The air hole valves on the top cap have very sharp points on both versions, and this is something to watch out for. If you're not careful, you can poke or scratch your finger pretty good. On both versions, the edges of these cuts feel very sharp to the touch, though I hope the version 3 would be rounded off better. I also noticed with my version 3 that there's a defect. There's a very sharp piece of metal that protrudes out from one of the blades, which gave me a good poke when I started using this RDA. I'll be sanding this down, but I am very disappointed in this defect. One improvement I did notice was the way the blades were machined out. You can see on the version 2 that there's a dip from the drill or the Dremel tool that they use to carve out the blades that goes into the blade and makes it look not so good. My version 3 is rounded off just fine, but again, these inside sharp edges are way sharper than I would like. 
Looking at the drip tips that are included with both versions, they are very similar. The version 3 drip tip is more rounded off towards the top than the version 2. You can see that my version 2 drip tip has been used quite a bit, and it's been chipping around the indents on the drip tip. These Delrin drip tips are great though. They have an inner diameter of 10mm, and they give a nice airy hit, and since they're made of Delrin, they never get too hot, so you don't have to worry about burning your lips. Looking at the bottom of the deck, you can see a difference in the way the 510 adapter was machined. The threads look like they were produced differently, with the version 3 having less deep threads than the version 2. They screw into my mods pretty smooth, but I would be wary of them stripping. The bottoms are pretty similar, with the Mutation X engraving as well as the serial numbers. You can see that my positive screw on the version 2 has dented in a bit from accidental over-tightening. I had issues with the screw on the version 2 not coming out easy enough to fit with certain mods, but the screw on the version 3 comes in and out perfectly fine. You can also see a difference in the color of the insulator. A great addition to the version 3 is the included 510 drip tip adapter. If you don't want to use the standard wideboard drip tip that's included, or more importantly, if you lose it or break it, you can easily place on the adapter and use any variety of 510 drip tips that you have available. One of the nicer features on both Mutation X versions are the airflow options. The top cap is designed in a way to allow any variation of airflow options. Having both sides wide open allows for dual coil building, but the cap also gives the option for single coil building as well. When placing on the cap, you can turn it with ease to allow the air holes to be wide open, half open, or even just slightly open. This helps you customize how much air or vapor density you want from your hit, which makes this one of my favorite RDAs. The decks are built very well and allows for any variety of builds. In my version 2, I have two twisted 26 gauge Canthal coils that are mounted vertically, and in my version 3, I have two Clapton coils with 26 gauge Canthal wrapped with 28 gauge Canthal. The Mutation X can support single, dual, and quad coil building. I also really enjoy the split positive post, which makes building dual coils even easier. I bought the version 2 at a local brick and mortar store for around $35. I bought the version 3 from Vapor DNA for $24.99 and they also have the version 2 listed for $29.99. At this price point, this is a fantastic RDA, which makes up for some of its shortcomings in its build quality. I've been using my version 3 with the Mutation X mod, which has a matching stainless steel finish. This makes for one very cool looking setup. With the version 3 coming in at $24.99, the mod coming in at $39.99, it comes to a total of $65 for the whole setup. I'm very pleased with the outcome and very happy to have this as a part of my vaping collection. This has been New Amsterdam Vape, and if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.